And this is what, this is what people don't understand. And this is what I'm trying to show with wife school is like a lot of times what, like women want the guy that makes the amount of, the amount of money. Cause in their head, they're like, Oh, we're going to be struggling you forever. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But it's like, no, you just have to eat in season. Like I'm not I like it. I'm, I'm, I don't eat in season. I'm not going to be doing, I'm sorry. But it's like for, there's some girls that don't have the option like like that aren't as privileged like that weren't in the, the position I am mm -hmm. and if they want a family you're gonna have to learn how to make 50 bucks a week work and you can and you there's it was plenty of food I'm like I know you're like in shock <laughs> but I'm telling you I'm telling you there is a girl that raised 10 kids on ten thousand dollars a year it is possible yeah, you, were saying, you were telling me that it is possible it's not it's hard but they just go down to the essentials you, wait, wait, wait how many kids 10 Ten thousand that's a thousand dollars a month to live. Look at it. Listen, my daughter just ordered DoorDash and I think she ordered like some sushi. That junk came to like sixty dollars. Yeah, but see that's that's a luxury though. So that's what they break it down going through your expenses. Like what's a luxury? Eating out is a luxury. True, e eating but going to the grocery store is insane now. Um, if you look at the sticker prices, like you have to eat in season. So that stuff is like cheaper. Now, yeah. I'm not saying I don't do this. Like this is this is for a video. Yeah, 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 I just, it, this is just to show people like if you want a family, that's possible. Yeah. And you can do it off of, you know, 45, 55,000 yeah. a year. And they like they think it's like the end all be all. But at the end of the day, you don't need new clothes every year. I agree. You, you don't you don't need to eat out. You I don't agree. need to travel. Yep. Like there's a lot of stuff that can be cut out that people will list as essentials and they're not. Yeah. And it's like then people will be like, oh, well, your parents are rich. That's easy for you to say. And I'm like, look it. We lived a more frugal lifestyle than a lot of my friends. Mm -hmm. Like we, I never got to fly to vacations. We always drove. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many kids. Can you yeah. blame them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, <clears throat> that's what I'm trying to show. It's like for the women that like, want to have a family i'm giving them the tools to do it yeah do you want to have kids i want a lot of kids want, do you really yeah I want four. what's a lot um like four five bro that's a lot of kids yeah. Uh, uh. yeah i had one daughter and then i got a vasectomy <laughs> that was it after me. one oh that's yeah i just feel like they gotta have someone to hang out with she got cousins um but my biggest thing was just that um I don't know, maybe I was just so, because I've always studied people and it just seemed like the people that had the majority of the kids were some of the worst people that was, you know, society. Oh my God, really? I found the opposite. Really? Yeah, I thought, no offense. I just think only children are usually the worst. No, 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 no. The people that are having kids today. <laughs> okay. So it's much different than my grandmother. My grandmother had like 13 kids, okay. right? Or whatever, so on and so forth. But she was doing really, really well. And her husband was doing really, really well, and she only got married. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a, it was a different environment. But when I see a lot of times, I see guys, in a lot of instances, they'll have four or five different baby mamas and seven different kids. Mm -hmm. And I, when I grew up, and I would see that type of stuff, and I would be like, "Yo, that's just irresponsible." Yeah. So it's different than a family yeah. having a lot of kids yeah. versus a person having a lot of different kids from yeah. a lot of different people. And I was just, I would see that in my neighborhood or I would see that in society as I was growing up in like the 90s and the 2000s. And I was just like, nah, I'm yeah. going to just have one and I'm going to give everything I can to that particular kid. So it was, it was a little different. I don't know. I just liked having siblings growing up. Mm -hmm. And I just, to this day, I'm so thankful for my siblings. And yeah. I just would like to provide that to you know yeah so you want four or more um okay i need at least two um but ideally like if i could because you know he's got to have a say too you know yeah, it's not yeah, just yeah. up it's not up to me right yeah. <laughs> do just to agree to it um yeah. but i would say ideally four would be ideal all right so you're not gonna spend no money until like the next three years it seems like mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to have a lot of kids. I'm, I'm breaking down, I'm breaking down Pearl so we can see what wife school. I'm setting up the wife school. Person, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> do you want to like? Do you want to get married sooner or or, or later? I want to get married sooner. Sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to get married sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Um, content creation. Like, do you want to continue to work after you have kids, or what does that look like? 
Okay, my dream scenario would be like Candace Owens. She works like five, ten hours a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like if that got in the way of the kids, I, like I certainly wouldn't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just think it's the kids first. But, you know, ideal Pearl dream world, you know, um, te- like Candace Owens lives her best life. She learned, she she's 10 hours a week. She to have 10 hours a week. <laughs> yeah. go like that, that's it that's all she really works and she yeah. makes millions a year i'm like so i was like i would like to have the structures in place where it's kind of like running by itself mm-hmm. and then i could just like work 10 hours a week and if it doesn't work i'll scale back people are like well you can't do that da, 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 da. i'm like if it doesn't work i'll scale back you know yeah. you can you can always make changes later <laughs> what about um because you know as you become more visible whether you want to embrace it or not i mean you really are a public figure (laughs) like you know you are so like do you worry about one of the things i was talking i asked Brittany uh renner when i had interviewed her um i asked her i'm like you know how do you vet through who's trying to talk to you Mm -hmm. you know and them knowing you or whether they don't know you or they pretend like they know you or not how do you navigate through the visibility that comes with who you are Mm. versus what the intentions are or, you know, I mean, I just like take my time getting to know someone. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's all you really can do. Take my time. Um, if like men in my life can meet him, I try to do that. It's harder when I'm in England. Yeah. (laughs) Um, but I just take my time and you know, um, I, I try to go into things with good faith. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I understand that sometimes things can go wrong and they might, but, yeah, that's. Is usually. it any red flags that a guy can do? Like you're on a date and they pull out a phone, like, "Hey, I'm with Pearl." Like, <laughs> no, I haven't. I think clout chasing is more of like a female. I think. Oh no, that is a guy I, thing I, too. I, I think clout chasing is more of like a female. Don't more. believe okay, it. Okay, may, maybe. Let me we'll give you see. the game, Pearl. <laughs> clout chasing is universal. Um, yeah. Red flags. Um. Red flags as it relates to the fact that you are more visible whether you want to admit it or not. Is there I mean, some things guy, that you would get a little, like you would, you know. I mean, any guy that like was super like wanting to go on the show and like really into, <laughs> I mean, my ideal, like the ideal to, okay, I'll tell you. Or that like, that's all they want to talk about. But is my, the show I, yeah, or what you do? The online? ideal, the ideal to like guys, like one is a guy that doesn't have any idea what this shit is. <laughs> is that he not even yeah, he's, aware of what's going uh, on at all yeah, yeah like maybe he knows it's like youtube stuff but there's a lot of people that have no idea what red pill they have no idea what the sector of youtube is you yeah. know so that's option one or option two is like um guys that are kind of like they have to be in the field but it's like it's a little better for me if they have something to lose yeah. where it's not like there's no incentive for them to like do that yeah do you know what i mean that's what i was gonna ask you i was gonna ask you like would you prefer and i mean i'm assuming that you open just in a general sense because if you find a good person you find a good person but do you prefer a person that is a little bit more visible that have just as much to lose as you or a person that's just completely out of the loop i mean i'm a woman we're attracted to status so yeah. <laughs> i think i want to say like no but my last boyfriend had stat like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so i i can't say like that that's not a point you know yep.